Hey guys and welcome back and welcome to the first video of 2024. I know it's mid-January but you know got there in the end we've got the video we're uploading it so yeah thanks for being here hope you guys had a great break it seems like it's forever ago. Whilst over the break I was perusing social media a little bit looking on reddit just in somewhat passing the time um, and other times just, just curious about what was going on and I came across a question on reddit and it was just a question there was no context behind it and it just literally said how do you know when you should forgive someone now there were a few comments on there which some which I didn't actually agree with um, and I thought you know what I'll just I'll just sit down and give you my view on it now as i said there's no context so i don't know what's happened i don't know who they're trying to forgive i don't know how long it's been so a lot of this is gonna have to be generic but you know we'll i'll, I'll tell you my thoughts and then if you have any different thoughts if you agree if you don't do agree that's fine just let me know in the comments see what you think now i am going to be getting ready as we do this and um, i do need to do my hair it is really i've just washed it and then brushed it and it's really frizzy so until my hair cut in a couple of weeks i'm just gonna heat protect it and we'll try and make it look a little bit more normal now i do have notes on my phone so i do end up looking down it's because i'm just reading the notes that i made i wanted to be coherent so the first thing really is that there isn't an exact science behind forgiveness people will tell you you should forgive and forget people will tell you what they think but there isn't necessarily a time in which you're just going to feel like yeah you're ready to forgive someone there's not necessarily going to be a feeling that you get that you go oh actually yeah i'm ready now it may be that one day you wake up and think actually i'm i'm done with all of this i don't really want to go on with this anymore and you might just forgive someone then or you might decide that actually that's the time that you you're just not gonna worry about it anymore but we'll get into that a little bit so as i said a lot of people like to say to someone i'll oh, just forgive and forget but that's not always healthy that's not always realistic either so forgive and forget is something i don't really like because you're almost saying well okay i'm gonna forgive what they've done but I'm not going to forget it it comes with conditions like my forgiveness is conditional and that's not really fair on that person and it's not fair on you if you're forgiving someone it should be a hundred percent I forgive you I am over what's been what's happened I've, I've moved past it I want to move on when you're saying you forgive but you won't forget you're holding it a boat over their head you're potentially going to be making a, an awkward situation worse by saying like I'm not going to forget what you've done and it's almost a little bit confrontational as well which isn't necessarily warranted <laughs> again like I said this is this is all going to be generic you'd have to see if it applies to what you think I'm more of a forgive and be wary so don't hold it over this person that they are you know forgiven with conditions um but you know maybe be wary of the things that you tell them maybe if your confidence was breached maybe don't tell them the amount of things you would have before maybe be aware of the involvement they have in your life because you know that this has happened and yeah okay it could happen again so kind of protect yourself a little bit be aware that this person showing their true colors once maybe this is going to happen again but like i said don't be conditional around it because that's not fair on you and it's, it's not really fair on that other person because you haven't actually forgiven them at that point now your mental health is another massive one you really should be taking into consideration when you think about am i am i going to forgive this person depending what someone's done it can really mess with your mental health it can really mess with how you perceive yourself how you feel others perceive you that is something you're in control of you're in control of how much you allow someone to affect you when it comes to mental health if someone has done something um, you need to decide by letting this person have my forgiveness 
am I doing myself a disservice? Am I saying that actually my mental health doesn't matter because I just want peace? Or are you saying I am strong enough to say, let you back in my life, I can now deal with you? I have had friendships in the past which I have ended over things. Um, I have given it time to see if I can get over what's happened and if I can move past it and as soon as I know I can't because my mental health will be um, sacrificed for it for the want of a better word I've gone you know what I I don't need this um, it, <laughs> losing a friend is hard it really is because especially if you've had a friendship for a while or maybe you have put a lot of faith in this person you have told them a lot you've confided in them a lot and all of a sudden they are treating you a certain way or they're betraying your confidence it's really hard to walk away because it can be really comfortable having that person in your life and they're a comfort and it's what you know but when I was going through this in my head I, I was just thinking if I continued this friendship with this person how am I going to feel up here am I going to continue feeling the way that I have felt leading up to this and then this was the straw that broke the camel's back or am I going to be able to distance myself and separate what's going on unfortunately it didn't I wasn't able to separate it um, there were certain things that continued to happen and I said I'm I'm okay not having this friendship in my life and it's hard but for myself it was the right thing to do if you're quite strong and you can say actually mentally I'm going to dissociate myself from this person you can be in my life but it's going to be different it's not, I'm not going to tell you as much I'm not going to confide in you as much I'm not going to see you as much by all means you know do that I wasn't um, I didn't feel as though I could continue with this person in my life and I mean this was like three years ago um, I haven't got any regrets about my decision that I've made and it is a decision I've made and I would have to live with and I have to live with myself the decision I've made I know it sounds really dramatic I don't mean for it to but I decided to cut this person out of my life that is something that I've done and that's something I'm I'm living with and I'm fine with it another one that is something that you really should consider um, is how the apology has actually been given to you so there's three types of apologies really you have the I'm sorry but apology which is the I'm sorry you feel that way it's the justification almost of I'm sorry I said that and you felt like that putting the blame on you that maybe your feelings are being hurt because I don't know you're not able to take a joke or, or whatever it is that they're trying to justify it with so that's one apology the sorry but you have the sorry where it's almost said because they feel like they should they don't necessarily believe that they should apologize but they say it because they're very much like well I'm just gonna say it anyway so that's the second one and then the third one is the actual ownership apology of I'm sorry that I did this I said this I'm sorry that it has affected us you know there, there's ownership the ownership apology is the one that you really really want and I don't think we all necessarily get it all the time some people don't like to admit they're in the wrong and therefore you won't get that apology or if you did it wouldn't be a sincere one necessarily so something I always consider when someone has upset me is what is the apology actually is it a sincere apology is it a genuine apology is it someone making me out to be overly sensitive that they were just saying things and I took them wrong you know there's there's a level of apology that's acceptable depending on the situation but yeah I do always wonder that apology that I've been given if you have been given one you know was it genuine was it heartfelt was it meant do you believe that that's that's legit an apology the other apology I guess, I guess there is four types, is the 
non-apology where you just don't get one because again someone doesn't believe that they've done anything wrong they don't believe that they owe you an apology because they're in the right or or their actions don't need apologizing for so that is always one to, to consider as well before you forgive someone have you actually had any sort of remorse from that person have they actually apologized or admitted fault at all so once you decide if you are gonna forgive someone the next step in my mind is if you feel you're ready to let this person back into your life in the same way or if things are going to be changed now this does link back to what I was saying a bit earlier on about being wary of someone now there's no problem saying I'm going to have this person back in my life but it's going to be slightly different now I'm maybe not going to see them as often as I was I'm maybe not going to text them or call them as often as I did maybe I'm not going to as I said, tell them things as often that's fine to have your boundaries boundaries can be healthy to kind of give yourself a little bit of room to breathe and a little bit of control over what you tell people and, and and things like that but you don't have to necessarily say to this person we're friends but these boundaries are xyz there's no need again because that almost comes as holding the relationship over that person's head holding what what's happened over them you can have boundaries without telling that person there are boundaries if for instance and this is just drawing on recent experience someone has told someone else about something that they have absolutely no business being involved in and that person new person has an opinion on that thing that's a betrayal of trust that is someone taking a situation and putting it elsewhere now my relationship with that per those, those people to be true to be honest with you has changed therefore i will now no longer tell those people things people person a who i told i thought i could trust went and told person b who had absolutely no business being involved in what i and person a were talking about and it's personal and all that sort of stuff so now I don't trust person A because person B was told by them and person B had an opinion which came back to me via person C so person C was told by person B because they were told by person A so all of a sudden this piece of information that I thought was completely confidential has been spread and shared and it's got back to me because person C is loyal to me and has said by the way do you know that this has got this far so my relationship with A and B have forever changed there'll be no confiding I don't really see them anymore because I've made that decision that I don't really want to and it's tough it's tough because I didn't think this would ever happen and I know that probably sounds really naive but it makes me wonder what else has been said but I've never been told that it's got that far maybe some other stuff has been shared that shouldn't have been shared but I've never been told that that's been shared so now I've always got this concern that things will never just be between me and this other person and therefore one of my boundaries is that I don't tell them things anymore that are personal private to me maybe sensitive topics which is it's just difficult because I've lost a confidant I've lost one I thought I could talk to and I could have like a, a good conversation with and that is hard when that happens but I'd rather that than constantly worrying that things I was saying were getting further than I planned for them to so I do have boundaries with this person but they don't know I have boundaries because these are for me these are for my mental health they're for my well-being I don't need to share these with people because again it can come across quite confrontational if I'm saying okay well we'll have a relationship but I'm never going to tell you anything ever again that's quite confrontational I, I don't feel it's necessary to share it so you can have boundaries 
but I, my advice would be to keep them to yourself. I'm not trained in any sort of I don't know advice giving this is all just from my own personal experience so you know if you want to take up a pinch of salt that's fine if you don't agree with what I'm saying that's also fine oh nearly got my hand that's also fine but for me these are the things that have allowed me to keep a healthy life and and to keep myself feeling more in control of what I'm saying and you know where I want it to go but like I said the, this is this is how I feel in control of my life and my feelings it's not a one-size-fits-all for everybody now on that reddit thread that I saw there was a comment which I didn't agree with at all and it said you should forgive everybody don't agree with that forgiveness is not given forgiveness is not a right it is earned by your actions it's like if you lose trust with someone if someone breaks your trust which often happens you know linked to forgiveness what would you do just be like okay i give you all my trust back you wouldn't it would be forever changed so that's what i don't understand why everyone should be forgiven and I'm gonna say something that's quite controversial and it's probably gonna get quite a few people's backs up. In fact, I know it will, because it already has. And that is, just because someone is family does not mean that you should forgive them. I'm just gonna let that sink in for a second. If someone is a family member and they have done whatever it is they've done to make you feel the way that you feel, they don't get an automatic pass because they think it's okay to make you feel like that. They think that their behaviour is acceptable and it's not. Now I've had family drama where I've had to take time away from people because I've needed to process, and I've needed to take a break and it's taken a year for me to actually forgive someone for what they've done. A year sounds like a long time not going to get into what it was because it's not really relevant to this doesn't it does, again doesn't need to be shared with anybody but you can't just say oh or oh, that's that person you can't just accept that that's how they are because they're not taking accountability for what they've done and again they will think that they're able to continually treat you that way so just because someone is family does absolutely not mean that you have to forgive them at all some people never forgive family and that's fine if they really feel affected by what's happened they don't have to at all yeah i know that's going to get some people's backs up because i know that some people really don't believe in that and they don't agree with that but i do know people in my life who do agree with that and do feel as though actually it's not a free pass to, to treat someone who you're meant to care for and love however you want one more time for those in the back just because they're family does not mean you have to forgive them. Not now, not in a year, not ever if you don't want to. These are on your terms. I'll, the only thing with this is that you are going to get other family members saying, oh, you should do this and you should forgive them and I'm never going to talk to you again if you don't. But at that point, you know, sides are starting to be taken and, and it can get a little bit out of control. So you do need to have a think about you know how far you want to stand with that you know if, if someone says i'm not taking sides but they are by saying you should forgive this person they're kind of taking that person's side anyway so yeah it, it, is, it is a tricky line to tread but it's one that you need to tread on your terms not one you're what you're walking your own tightrope not someone else's is what i'm trying to say just the last thing really is that there isn't a timeline for when you're gonna feel ready. It could take months, days, hours, weeks, years, decades. You know, it doesn't, you're not gonna necessarily feel okay in a short space of time. You're not gonna get a letter through the post saying, now is the day that you forgive this person. You're just gonna know. You'll either just get to the point where you decide you don't really wanna continue this anymore, you'll get to the point where you, you're just tired of it or you'll reach a point where you can forgive someone and move on and that's fine. There's nothing to say that you have to do on anyone else's terms but your own because it's your life that's being affected at the end of the day. 
yes, okay, other people may be dragged into this because of X, Y, and Z. Maybe it's, like I said, maybe it's a family thing and you've got family members saying, just make peace, just make peace. But you're the one that has to live with the decisions. You're the one that's going to have to potentially see these people and, and all that sort of stuff. So do it on your terms when it feels right for you. And just to reiterate, forgiving someone is not a must. It is not a right. And it is not a given. Someone needs to earn your forgiveness. Someone needs to understand why you feel the way you do. But as for that question on Reddit, there isn't a time. There isn't a time frame. You'll just know when you are. And yeah, there's not really much more I can say than that. But I hope that was useful for you guys. I mean, like I said, a lot of it is just how I've got through situations in the past. It's not necessarily a one size fits all approach because different situations will call, will call for different things to happen. Different situations will call for different outcomes as well and and timelines and, and things like that and depending who's involved and all that sort of stuff but hopefully that's given you some things to consider if you are wor wondering about forgiving someone just a, it's just a few things for you to think about are you ready do you feel mentally ready and how much you want to allow this person back in but yeah thanks guys for watching first video of 2024 we're done there's a lot of interesting and exciting stuff coming up over the next few weeks i've got another video pending with goblin rides um, potentially sort of more of a chat show type podcast type thing that's in the works as well but yeah so lots of exciting stuff coming I will see you all in the next video if you guys like the video please like it please leave a comment tell me what you think and subscribe it is free for you it does a lot for me and it's just a little click even if you don't watch any more videos just click subscribe it really helps me out a lot I really appreciate it but have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one Take care.